Hey everybody, Shmurly World back with the next installment of Life Force, doing the classic Konami third stage, the fire stage. You can see these are kind of like the these birds have a little hint of fire about them. That's just foreshadowing what's about to happen. And boy, is this fitting that we're playing a fire stage because I feel like my apartment is a fire stage. It's just very hot. I'm getting kind of sweaty. feel like I should do something about that. But unfortunately, we don't have any air conditioning. So I'm kind of just stuck dealing with it. And that's okay. I guess I can just drink some more water. Gotta stay hydrated, I guess. Man, these orbs coming from the sides, super scary. There's going to be some... Uh, arcs flying from the ground. You gotta watch for those. There, there's like a little small flash, and then a big arc like that. And then you just kind of have to remember where they're gonna come from because it's kind of BS. It's actually super BS. It's one of like I hate this level for that reason, and that reason pretty much alone. Those BS fire arcs, especially that one, because it happens. It keeps happening. And I don't know, I don't want to deal with it. I just want to, oh gosh, oh man. Okay, gotta stop talking, gotta keep shooting. Oh God, wow, that was a nice, oh, force field, okay, sorry. There's just so much happening right now and it's hard to stay on top of it all. But we're, oh, oh, oh man, oh gosh. Okay, 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 moment of respite. I don't know how to say that word, I don't care. I don't care, I don't care. I just want to stay alive, I like living. I like living! I like to live. Oh my gosh, they give you a lot of those blue pellets. Okay. Okay. We are just a fireball. We have become fire. We are flying through the air at extreme velocities. Looking out for any bullshit fire arcs that are coming to sneak up on me. Because boy, I have died to those so many times in my life! Oh, that was close. Okay. Okay. We can do this. Man, I can actually feel like the sweat beating now that like this is intense. Uh, I think that was a double-headed dragon, but I think he's double-deaded dragon now. Oh! Wow, that one I feel like I should have died in, but thank you, Konami gods. Thank you, base Konami gods. But that one I was kind of just lucky guessing where typically the arcs will first come into play and first be safe, but I think they're gonna try to trick me. Dragon mini boss, he's dead. Sweet mid boss down. Going on to the final boss. Made it the final boss. Super excited. We can totally do this, guys. We can. We're just flying through this. Uh, uh, it's okay. Oh, geez, this guy. Um, I think you have to like shoot him in his mouth when it opens, or like hit his chin. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. He is not messing around. He's okay. Wow. That was intimidating. I actually. <laughs> I don't usually make it this far, so that's, uh, I guess we're just gonna have to deal, you know? We're just gonna be wheeling, dealing, trying not to die. Actually, this stage is super unfamiliar to me. Man, hold on, I gotta pause, gotta scratch my nose, gotta scratch it because it itches. It itches real bad. Okay, I think we're- oh yeah, this is the- this is like the one that reminds me of like being in a vein. Cause like, those are like red blood cells, we're in the vein, we're just like going through- Oh no, those are the red blood cells. Sorry. I guess the other ones- I don't know what those are. Clusters of amoeba, or something. Who knows? Amoebas wouldn't cluster. Bacteria clusters. Bacteria forms colonies, I should say. Colonies, clusters, same thing. Oh no, I totally know this level. There's gonna be like the- yeah, there's gonna be like things that- little circles that shoot spirally things at me. Well, not spirally things, but like spidery. That's what I'm looking for. But I like those things, they're fun. They're interesting. They really didn't give you many power-ups in this one. Oh god, speeding up, speeding up. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Just gotta keep firing. Gotta look at the top of the screen. Don't care about nothing. I'll give myself an extra speed. It seems like it's gonna help here. Wow, I'm using like the lasers to figure out where I am relative to everything else. I just have to make sure I'm not looking at my options laser. I'm kind of using it as a laser pointer to guide me. Did we make it? I think we made it. Sweet, we slowed down. Okay. Ah, the chicken legs! It does have the drumsticks, okay. These things, I don't remember what they do. I just know that they're pretty satisfying to explode. 
don't even know if they do anything. Again, I could also be just thinking of another game. Of the other the things that spider out. But I'm going to keep fighting the good fight. Keep fighting the good fight until I can go. Oh, that's what happens if you don't blow them up. Those things come out. Okay. That is super terrifying. Oh my gosh, I nicked the thing and I was right at the beginning, of, or right at the back, so I lost my options immediately. This is going to be tough to recover from. We might be able to do it if we play at the best of our ability, but it's definitely going to be a lot harder than having all of the weapons that I could ever have wanted ever. Oh, and these things. These are the things I wanted to blow up, but now that's going to happen every time because I can't kill them fast enough. I'm just gonna like slowly lose eight lives as I struggle to make it through this section. I guess if I don't try to blow them up, I might be able to like skirt by. Wow, that one pulses. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me that one pulses? That sucked. Man, okay. Oh, uh, they're trying to give me power-ups before the boss. It's very kind of them. It's very kind. Oh, I want to speed. I want some speed. Just so I can maneuver. I'm not going to get anything else. Oh, here's the ribcage. Yes, so I was thinking about this game. Okay. And the ribcage have laser towers that shoot lasers. And the toenails! Yes, don't eat your toenails because they shrimp off into violent things that want to attack the, sh the ships that are inside you for whatever reason. Yeah, okay, so I think it, this is the game that's just, like, super weird, because in the end of the U.S. version, like, you fly out of a planet, and the planet's exploding, but, like, you're clearly not in a planet, you're in a body, so... Weird. Oh, and here's the skull. Yeah, with the weird eyeballs that, like, fly out and attack you. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be super duper tough. Gotta shoot him in the mouth, gotta not die. Gotta fire as fast as I can. I don't know if you guys can hear how rapidly I'm trying to tap this button so I can fire as much as I can. I'm trying to make it through. Oh god, he lost an eyeball. He lost an eyeball. Okay. Can't do anything about that. His eyeball is just out in the wild now. Gotta keep... Rick, shoot him in the mouth! Hit him! Die! I don't... I have so many buttons that I have to hit. It's just one button, but I have to hit so many times. The struggle is real. I wish I had lasers. Oh, lasers and options. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. Can I do it? Yes! Okay, we made it to the start of the next stage. I need to take a break. I need to get some water. I need to like wipe my sweat off. Oh man, thanks for checking it out. Uh, comment, if you still haven't done it, comment with your favorite NES game in below so I know what to play next. Thanks for checking us out. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. See you next time.